Hello and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to look at how to adjust the connector's dimension based on its curvature. In many applications, you might want to know what should be the dimension of a connector in order to uh, fully capture its shape and curvature according to your desired tolerances. Well, one way to do this is to use a suitable distribution function in order to cluster grid points in high curvature areas. But today, we're going to show you another way to achieve this via the grid dimension command. But before we look at this feature, let's consider the connector that I've created here in my Fidelity Pointwise project. As you can see, I've set the dimension of this connector to 10 with equally spaced grid points along the length of the connector. However, if I go to Edit Curve, you can see that the original connector was drawn uh, using a Bezier curve, but the current grid dimension and the distribution of the points are clearly not capturing its curvature, especially close to these endpoints. So how can we fix this? Well, under the Grid Dimension command, you can see a subpanel called Curvature. Here you get several options. The first option is called Max Angle. Here, you specify a maximum angular deviation in degrees. Now, if at any grid point, the angle between the normal to the connector's line segment and the normal to the underlying database or analytic curve that defines the shape of the connector is greater than this specified angle, then a new grid point will be added in the middle of the segment that's being evaluated. The second option is called max deviation, where Instead of a normal angle, the maximum chordal deviation based on the physical units of the grid would determine whether a new grid point is to be added or not. Finally, if you check the Use Database Curvature option, then the curvature of the underlying database entity will also be taken into account. Otherwise, only the curvature of the underlying analytic curve will be considered. So let's see this in action. I'm going to select this connector and go to Grid Dimension. Here at the top, you see the current dimension and the average spacing of this connector. Let me check the curvature option, which opens up the subpanel. Let's enable the max angle option, put in a value of 15 degrees, and click on Dimension. Hmm. Here you see Fidelity Pointwise automatically adjusted the dimension and the distribution of the grid points along the connector to capture its curvature based on the angular tolerance that I specified. So we see that nodes are clustered around the high curvature areas and the total dimension of the connector is increased to 23. Now, let me uncheck this option, reset the number of points to 10 and click Dimension again, and we are back to equally spaced grid points. Next, let's try the max deviation option. Here, we need to put in an absolute value in physical units of the grid as the maximum chordal deviation. So, for this connector, let me choose a value of 0 0.005. Once again, you can see that grid points are clustered in the high curvature regions, and the dimension of the connector is automatically adjusted to accommodate the specified deviation tolerance. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.